Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways to become a work from home freelancer. This is going to be a very quick tutorial showing you what to do once you have finished a job for a client on Upwork. I'm going to show you how you can submit work for payment. Now, first of all, it's very important that you do not begin working for a client unless they have sent you an official job offer on Upwork. If they have not sent you an official job offer, which you can find by clicking here on deliver work, your active contracts. If this has not already been set up, do not do any work for this client. There are a lot of scams where people will try to get work for free. They'll try to get you to communicate with them via email or telegram instead of sending you an official job offer on Upwork. And this is not allowed. You can report the client they must send you a job offer for you to accept before you begin working. And if it's a fixed price job offer, they must have deposited money already in escrow. And that is to protect you. Otherwise, you might do the job for free. So the only way to make sure you get paid for your work is to accept a job offer where the money has already been deposited in escrow. And if you're doing an hourly rate job, you must have the time tracker app installed and you must track the hours you're working while you're working. That's the only way Upwork can help you with payment protection. Once you have been sent a contract, some clients may prefer to communicate via email. It's easier for them and that's okay. But when you are sending work to a client and accepting job offers, that all must be done on Upwork for your own protection. So if you have accepted a job offer and now you have completed your work, how can you go about sending this to your client so that you can get paid? Well, there are two different options. You may just go into your messaging by clicking here on messages and then opening up the chat that you have with your client. So from here, you can let your client know, hi, I have finished the work. I'm going to send it to you here now for your review. Let me know if you need any changes. And what you can do is click here on the attach file icon and then click upload a file, or you can click share via Dropbox. Then you would attach your file, press enter to send this to your client. Now, if you do it this way, you are hoping that your client is going to go ahead and release the payment to you. If you do it this way, it may take a bit longer for payment to be released. Some clients forget to release the payment to you. So the better way to do this is to directly submit the work for payment. And that way it starts a timer where if your payment is not released within a certain amount of time, it gets automatically released to you. So to do that, you're going to click here on deliver work go back to your active contracts and you're going to select the job that you are ready to submit work for payment. So I'm going to click here on active milestones and this is the one that I'm ready to submit my work to this client. Now this client has been a little unresponsive the past few days so I think it's better for me to do it this way. So I'm just going to click here on submit work for payment. So this window is going to pop up and it's going to give me an opportunity to message the client. Hi, John, I finished the recording. I've attached it below in the same file format as the previous recording, thank you. So you can just let them know you finished the work, then click on attach file and go ahead and attach your file. You can see here that the max file size is 25 MB. And so let's say you're a video editor and you're sending a video that you finished for the client it's highly likely that your file size will be larger than this. So what can you do in this case? Well, you're going to have to upload the file to a safe platform or website and send a link to your client that way. And when you do this, you want to make sure it's a trusted website. So I recommend using Dropbox or Google Drive. So Google Drive, it's free, drive.google.com. And what you can do here is at the top right click new folder, then you can go ahead and open up the folder. What you can do is right click again and you can even make subfolders depending on the client and then click on your folder, right click file upload. I'm just going to upload this as a demo for you even though this file is a smaller size. So what you can do is you can click on these three dots right here, then click on share and then click on copy link and then click here on manage access. 
So from here, what you would do is change this, the general access from restricted to anyone with the link. And that will allow anyone on the internet with this link to be able to view or download your file. So then you're going to click copy link and then done. So now what you can do is just go ahead and paste this link on Upwork and your client will directly be able to access your file if it is larger than 25 MB. So you can go ahead and paste that link in there. In my case, it's a small file, so this is good as it is, and I'm just going to click Submit. So now you can see that work has been submitted for review, and you can see that your client has 14 days from the date you submit work to pay or request changes. If they take no action by October 2nd, the funds held in escrow for this milestone will be automatically released to you. So this is all you have to do, and hopefully the client will get this message and they'll be reminded to release the payment to you. This is the best way to submit your work for payment in the event that the client disappears or they're gone on vacation or they just completely forget. Let's say a few days have passed and you want to review the status of your work submitted for payment. You can go up to deliver work once again and click on your active contracts. And here you will see payment requests. So if you click on that, you'll be able to see any payment requests that you have made and the date as well. So if you have any questions about how to submit work for payment or you want to know anything else about Upwork, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And you can also check out my many different videos and tutorials on how to use Upwork as a beginner. Good luck with your freelancing journey and I hope you subscribe for more tutorials like this one.